everyone welcome to my youtube channel crackzat this is me priyasha das and today in this video we will be talking about some golden rules for cracking the reading comprehension section of any examination now as you might have known that reading comprehension forms the major chunk of the verbal ability section no matter whichever exam you pick up and the reason behind that is that generally at schools we have learned english language and under that we have learned the definite different different things like grammar which comprises clauses conjunctions phrases etc etc and we have also learned about the idioms the antonyms the synonyms etc but knowing all of this really doesn't make sense until and unless you are able to frame a structured sentence which has a complete meaning and at the same time understand the sentences spoken or written by others and interpret its meaning and that is the reason why reading comprehension is so very important because it really checks the ability of a person whether the person can read and interpret the information from the other person's passage or not and this will really require the knowledge of grammar as well as the meaning of the terms your vocabulary everything will be covered under reading comprehension so today in this video we'll be talking about five golden rules which will really help us to score best in the reading comprehension section we all know that in examinations like zat specifically and the other mba examinations as well the reading comprehensions are really difficult lengthy and extensive and in this limited time we have to go through such long long passages and derive the answers from them but what can really help us is if we start focusing on the concentrated parts which will help us to get the maximum answers i think you might have heard about the parity rule the parity rule which says 20 80 rule now you focus on 20% and get 80% done out of it that's what we need to do in the reading comprehension section as well we have to focus on 20% of the passage and get out with 80% of the answers related to that passage and for this these rules will be really helpful which i'm going to come with in the further part of the passage or i should say the video and i would be covering only five rules today because uh, i don't want to really make this video lengthy the part 2 of this video will contain the other rules which are equally important to crack the reading comprehension section so let's get started with the first rule now before getting started with the first rule i need to tell you something about the complex sentences as well so do you have any idea on how to identify the complex sentences long back we have learned it we all know it but it's just like not in the mind right now so complex sentences are generally separated by a punctuation mark such as comma and has some subordinating conjunctions in it subordinating conjunctions example as while etc like let's take an example as tom was running fast he fell down now let's recognize what exactly is the like how exactly can we say that it is a complex sentence there is a comma present here now there is something called as a dependent clause and an independent clause which is present in a complex sentence and how would we recognize which is the dependent one and which is the independent one as the name suggests independent stands for something which can stand alone and out of the two sentences which are separated by the comma as tom was running fast literally has no meaning in itself and can't stand in its own because it looks a little incomplete but he fell down can really stand alone and be a part of the independent clause so we can say that he fell down is nothing but the independent clause in this particular complex sentence and as is associated with tom was running fast so that's why this part will be called as the dependent clause so what's the rule number 1 the rule number 1 says that just focus on the independent clauses of the sentences or the complex sentences to be specific of 
Now, when you see a passage which has so many sentences in it, I'm pretty sure that you would be now recognizing the complex sentences at a faster rate with a comma and of course with the division of independent and depending clause and subordinating conjunctions as well. So what we need to do is we need to focus on only the independent clause where really the question comes from. So if you want to note down, you can take a note of my rules which I have written down. This is the rule number one which says that in a complex sentence, we have to be concerned only about the independent clause because most of the questions are focused from this section. Well, that's done for rule number one. Let's move to rule number two, which is related to the compound sentences. So let's see what I have written about the compound sentences. I have clearly mentioned that recognizing a compound sentence can be done when a sentence has greater than or equal to two independent clauses in the same sentence. And these independent clauses are joined by coordinating conjunctions. For your ease, I have given you some commonly known coordinating conjunctions which are and or nor but for yet that so etc really to be honest these are the seven coordinating conjunctions which are mostly used and you will hardly get any other con coordinating conjunctions but don't just really worry about it because in our grammar related videos we would be taking this coordinating conjunctions as a separate section and in a video so don't really worry about it for now you can just remember these seven coordinating conjunctions and Focus on the point that these coordinating conjunctions will help us to identify the compound sentences. Now, once we identify the compound sentence, here comes the rule number two. In the compound sentence, just be concerned about the part of the sentence which comes after that. That is a coordinating conjunction and whatever comes after that will be important for us. Let's take an example. If I say Sophie said Tom that Dubai is beautiful. So over here, let's try to figure out when you get a sentence like this in your RC and the question is somewhere related to this line, you know that the answer can never be who said whom. It's really not what we are going to be concerned about who said whom what we are going to be concerned about is what was said and here the thing which was said is dubai is beautiful that's all so this is the part from which the questions will come in the rcs so whenever you see a compound sentence in the rcs where there are certain coordinating conjunctions joining the sentences make sure that you focus only on the part after the coordinating conjunction hey guys i'll be pausing here because i think that the length of the video is going a little longer so to cut it short i'll just pause or i'll stop the video over here and rule number three four five will be taken in the next video which will be the part two of this series and don't worry about the video because uh, i'll be putting the link of the part two in the part one that is this video description box as well so till we meet again, please take care and do subscribe to the channel because that will give you more feeds like this and do hit the like button if you do find this video useful. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you will get notified every time I add a new video to this channel. So take care. See you soon.